Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to be trying out some new dye colors that I got from Dye Spin and Happy Cat Tie-Dye. And I'm going to try them on a mandala fold. I'm going to start by centering my shirt. And this process is going to go really fast, but down below in the description for this video is a link to another video which shows how to center a shirt. When I center a shirt, I'm essentially getting both sides of the front of the shirt right up next to each other and both sides of the back of the shirt right up next to each other. So whenever I apply dye to the front of the shirt or to the back of the shirt, both sides of the front are going to look more symmetrical or more alike and the same thing for the back. Okay, so now that I have the shirt centered, I'm going to find the center of the front of the shirt. So I'm going to fold the hem of the shirt up to the top or the neck of the shirt. I've placed my finger on what is the center of the shirt and I'm going to use a washable marker and make a mark just a little bit above that center line. Not far below the armpit of the shirt. That's where I want to start the center of my mandala. I'm using a straight edge to make folding the shirt in half a little bit easier. Now I'm going to grab the corner of the hem of the shirt that I just folded up and fold it back down to that center line. Then I'm going to grab the seam that I just formed by folding the shirt back, pinch that, lift the shirt up off the table, and when I do, the top or the neck portion of the shirt is going to fold back. From here, I'm going to fold each side back again, kind of like I was folding a paper airplane. If you notice, all my folds are going to one side of the shirt. So I'm only going to have two large folds on one side of the shirt and quite a few other folds on the other side of the shirt. Now from here, you can do whatever you want to. I'm gonna do just kind of a traditional mandala, but you could add hemostats, make it a hemostat mandala. Do it however you want to. This is just the basic fold for a mandala. So I'm using my washable marker and I'm drawing some shapes on my shirt for where I'd like to fold. And here again, you can do this however you want to. You can draw whatever kind of shapes you want on the shirt and you can fold it however you want. It's fun to kind of experiment with these and see how different the shirt looks based upon the different folds or shapes that you place on the shirt. Every place where I've drawn a line, I'm going to fold that and tie it with sinew. And I'm choosing to use sinew because of the wax coating. I like some definition in these different areas. And so the wax coating is going to help to give me a more defined line. The dye won't go underneath the sinew line if I tie it really tight and pull it until the sinew locks down on itself. So wherever I place a sinew line, that area should remain white. I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up a little bit, but if you'd like to watch it a little bit slower, you can click the settings icon on YouTube and choose your playback speed. You can either speed it up or slow it down.
once I have the mandala tied, I need to do something with the rest of this fabric that's remaining. I'm going to go ahead and put some really large fan folds in this space and then tie it with some kite string because I don't really want any definition lines or white lines in this area. Then I'm going to place the shirt aside for a few days and allow it to dry out completely. This is a really thick fold because I tied both the front and the back side of the shirt at the same time. So I want it to dry out completely because I get better color saturation in the middle of a mandala if I apply the dye when it's dry. If you'd like a little bit more information about this topic, I have a blog post out on my website and I have a link to my website down below this video in the description. I discuss that topic in a little bit more detail in that blog post. To dye the shirt, I'm placing it on a metal rack, which I have down inside of a plastic tub or tote. I'm going to make myself an ice barrier using some silicone cake molds. I'm going to wrap the silicone cake molds around the shirt and then hold them up close to the shirt using some wooden clothespins, which I'm going to attach to my metal rack. Since the shirt is completely dry, I'm going to use some soda ash solution, which I have down inside of a squirt bottle, to lightly mist the top of the shirt. This is just going to help the dye stick a little bit better to the folds. Right at the very end, or what is the center of the mandala, I'm using Moonstone from Happy Cat Tie Dye. I've used this on a skirt, but I put it with Strawberry Skies, so I'm not entirely sure what this color is by itself. Hopefully, I'll get a good enough color representation on this shirt, because I think it's supposed to be a really cool color. Then the next color I'm going to use is Moody Blue from Dye Spin. And this is one of the dark horse dyes that Dye Spins come out with. They're supposed to be dyes that they're not entirely sure what's going to happen. I mean, they've tried them out, but they're meant for ice dyeing, and so they're a little bit unpredictable. By the way, if you haven't ever tried out either one of these dye suppliers, they're great. Happy Cat Tie Dye is in New Jersey, and most of the colors that she mixes, she mixes specifically for ice dyeing. So most of them are great color splitters. There are a few of her colors that I haven't tried, but the ones that I have are gorgeous. Dye Spin is a larger dye company. They're in Missouri, and they mix dyes for both liquid dyeing and ice dyeing. They also have several other things out on their website. You know, some of the other chemicals and things that you would use when you tie dye. And because they are in Missouri, that's kind of the middle part of the U.S. So it's great if you live kind of closer to the middle part of the United States. You might check them and see whether or not you can get shipping from them a little bit cheaper than some of the dye houses that are on the east or the west coast. I buy quite a bit of dye from them, and I've never been disappointed in a color. They have some absolutely beautiful colors. And I use their dyes both for liquid dyeing and ice dyeing. I bought the Dark Horse dyes specifically for ice dyeing though. I don't think they were formulated for liquid dyeing. Okay, so I used the blue suede from Happy Cat Tie Dye on the little bumped out area, the kind of half circle area that I drew on the shirt. And then I used the Actius Luna from Dye Spin on the other area. On the remaining part of the shirt, I'm gonna use a color from Dye Spin called Wild Garden. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye and then add on some ice. I placed the shirt aside and I allowed the first layer of ice to melt. Then I came back and saw some undissolved dye left sitting on top. And because this is a really thick fold, I went ahead and added a second layer of ice to make sure I got really good color saturation throughout the shirt. After the second layer of ice melted, I wanted to place the shirt outside so that it could process in the heat. However, it is over 100 degrees here, so I don't want the shirt to dry out. 
So I took the shirt out of the ice barrier and placed it inside of another plastic tub, which has a metal rack down in the bottom. Then I placed the lid on the plastic tub or tote and placed it outside in the heat. With the lid on the tub or tote, it does not allow the sun to beat down or touch the shirt. And the heat inside of that tub or tote kind of steams the shirt, but it doesn't allow it to dry out. I left it in that tub or tote for probably about 18 hours before I began rinsing it. To rinse the shirt, I started rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of just continuing to rinse for a long time, I ran some really hot water in my utility sink, added a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water, and allowed the shirt to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until my water was remaining almost clear. Then I put the shirt into my washing machine along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent. And I washed it using a hot water cycle. Okay, so I've washed, dried, and ironed the shirt and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this shirt turned out really cool. So the Moonstone and Blue Suede were the two new Happy Cat tie-dye colors that I have. And the Moonstone is right in the very middle part of the shirt in the center of the mandala. And the blue suede are the little spots going around in the large green ring. And the moonstone is kind of what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it actually had more green though. But this was such a small area, the green just may not have been able to go ahead and split out. The blue suede was pretty much what I expected it to be. And I think it looks really pretty. The other three colors that I used on this shirt are Dye Spins Dark Horse colors, and I think those turned out really pretty too. The Moody Blue is the second ring. It's the more purple ring, so I really like the color, but it does look more purple to me. The Actius Luna is the green ring, and I think that color is really pretty. I love all the different variation of the greens. And then the Wild Garden, I think that color is really wild. I like how on this shirt, because the fold was so thick, I applied the dye on what is like the lower portion of the shirt. And you can tell when I applied the dye, it kind of in that area is more burgundy, mauve, pink with a little bit of teal. And then because the fold was so thick, as it kind of flowed down through the fold, it split out into more of that teal color at the top of the shirt which I think is really cool. This happens when I do container dyes. You know, if I take a shirt and I shove it down in a container and then add the dye to the top, a lot of times with these darker colors or the cool color splitting colors, you'll have one color at the top of the shirt and then as the dye splits down through the shirt, you'll end up with a totally different color down at the bottom of the shirt. I also got really good color saturation on this shirt. I just told you that I applied the dye to what is the lower portion of the shirt, but the top portion of the shirt looks well saturated as well. I mean, the dye did split out a little bit differently, but when you look at the mandala, there are a few lighter areas in that top part of the mandala, but for the most part, it's pretty close to the bottom portion and the saturation in the bottom part. And of course, because I tied the mandala both on the front and the back of the shirt, that made the fold really thick. And then this is a Gildan Ultra Cotton shirt. So the shirt in and of itself is pretty thick. To get this good color saturation, I did a couple things. And one of them was I allowed the shirt to dry out completely before I dyed it. Then I went ahead and added plenty of dye to the top and added plenty of ice to go ahead and force that dye down through the shirt. Because I rack dyed the shirt, I could lift the shirt up and kind of look at the bottom and make sure I was getting really good color saturation coming through to the back side. So overall, I really like this shirt and I'm really happy with all the new colors. I think they're really pretty. But what do you guys think? What do you think about the new ice dye colors? What do you think about 
dye spin, going ahead and starting to formulate new colors, especially for ice dyeing. Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll hit the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.